Hey, how's it going? Um, this is Crystal. I'm doing an unboxing for Pentagon's latest Japanese album, uh, Pentagon Universe, The History. And this is my first time doing an unboxing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but a few people on Twitter wanted me to do one, so why not? Maybe I'll do one for their next album. So here we have, um, I bought both the limited edition versions, and this one's the regular version, and then I bought a Shinwan board because he is my bias. And I also bought a Hui one as well, but I bought that one in a group order, so it'll be coming later. Um, this one is limited version A, this one's limited version B. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in order. I think I'll just open the regular one first, so let's move these away. All right, so here is the normal version. I'll show you guys the front and the back. Ignore me in the reflection. There's the track list. This thing's way too reflective. Okay, so let's open it up. All right, okay, I know like we're unboxing the Japanese version, but I can't stop thinking about the comeback trailer that just dropped today. Here's the CD. Like I know I'm living in the past, but um, I just, I'm so looking forward to their comeback. This is like my first comeback with them, technically. I joined after Dr. Bebe. Uh, here's the photo book, front and back. Let's just go through it. Oh my god, I miss Gino so much. But I know I'm not the only one. There's Hong Sok, Shinwon. Also, shout out to like the J Unis because they've been doing such a good job uh, getting Pentagon ranked. <laughs> I think they were like on second place on one of the billboards or whatever. Here's the track list. Yeah, we stand Japanese unis. Uh, Violet Shine. Here's Cosmo. I think the Japanese version of Naughty Boy is just so, so great. And it might be like my favorite um, Japanese rendition of these songs. Uh, these were all just like really, really good. So this was like a pretty simple version. We just got like, you know, members' faces and the track list. So this is what you'll get if you just order the standard. And let's move on to limited version A. Alright, here's version A. Sorry if my camera's shaking. I am new at this. So here's the front and the back. Also, sorry if I'm just apologizing the whole time. I know that's like, um, contradicting, but you know. Here's the side and the side. Okay. So this one, I believe, comes with a DVD, I think. So here's the slip case. But I don't know, I could be wrong. It's hard to memorize like all these Japanese versions. <sighs> I just like, I wish they had photo cards, but <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna get my hopes up that high. You know, I'm already used to clowning myself all the time as most unis are. Here's the front of the little photo book. And the back. Is this even focusing? Okay. Let me move this. Alright. I bought these CDs from um, CD Japan. And they arrived pretty fast. Um, like, I got DHL shipping, so of course. Oh my god, you look so good. Um, so yeah, it was my first time buying from CD Japan. But as you can see, they were really reliable. And they were packed, like, super, super well. Here's the track list again. We've already seen that. Gosh, I just, I hope that they drop the comeback date tomorrow for their October album because they just released the teaser today and it was like a black and white teaser and it was like super emotional and I'm like, it's 8 a.m. Like, please, I don't want to start crying right now. All right, there was the book. It was a little different, it had like different outfits. Here's the CD. Or here's one of them. I think this is just a regular CD. And then I think ooh, there's one more. And this one's a DVD. 
I don't really know what's on it. I think it's like the making or something. I don't know. I haven't really looked into the details, but all right. Oh, I forgot to put the photo book back in, but you know, you get the idea. Let's open the B version now. And here we have the limited B version. It's so pretty. It's like my favorite one. If I had to pick only one, I would have probably chose this one. It's thicker than the other ones too because it has a complete photo book. It was probably the most expensive. I don't really remember, but here we go. All right, here's the photo book. It's just so aesthetic. I love like, um, it, I'm getting like Cosmo vibes again. All right, here's Gino. We miss him, but we have Yannin back now. So it's like, you know, it helps fill the void a little bit. There he is. I wonder if he's going to be like involved in the songs for this comeback. It's like, you never know what's going on over there at Cube or what they're planning, but it's like, Yannin was like, like his voice was like in some of these songs. Like I swear to God, I heard his voice, but like for some reason his name's like not even like listed on here. Yeah, it's like not even listed on here, but his voice is still in there. So it's like, you know, what do? Still Gino, I love it. Um, but yeah, like if there are photo cards and Huey looks so good. But yeah, anyway, if there are photo cards, um, like you know that there's gonna be photo cards in the next album. I like, I just hope that they're normal photo cards. You know, I don't really want another Genius era. I mean, those were like super cool and like artsy, but to be honest, I just want cute selfie cards and. I just, I want like Gino and Yannin photo cards. I'm probably going to collect all of them this comeback. Since this is my first comeback, I'm going to go hard. Um, but yeah, like I wonder if they're going to leave Gino out or if they're going to leave Yannin out or only have Yannin, whatever. But I just want selfie photo cards if that's not too much to ask for. Some of you guys might know this, but I do collect a lot of Pentagon's photo cards. Uh, I'm slowly starting to just become an OT9 collector because, you know, whatever at this point. I just want all the Pentagon merch. He looks so good. I want to die. Um, oh my god. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on. I can't move on. Okay. Let's just, let's just get through this, Crystal. Anyway, so yeah, the black and white concept uh, totally seems to be going strong especially in the latest trailer and uh they've been spoiling like so much like content i feel like kino said that like they keep getting in trouble because they keep spoiling stuff so i know that it's definitely like black and white concept and flower concept because they keep posting flowers like everywhere um the latest trailer didn't like show any flowers but if you translate what they were saying they did mention uh that they did mention like the sim symbolism of flowers and things like that it's just so sweet and i'm so excited because this comeback seems like super personal i guess like it's super like it's almost like a gift to us it's like they're showing their appreciation to their fans and you can tell like just how emotional they are the whole time and it's just so sweet and if the backtrack of the trailer is the new song it sounds like so touching and like inspirational and stuff so I don't know I pretty much I'm going to love like whatever they put out honestly like some people wanted like a you know a happy uh poppy comeback some people wanted like them to go hard again but honestly I think in my opinion what Pentagon does best is when they're just doing like honest, sweet concepts. And I think that they definitely own like the happy, uh, sweet type of theme. They can do anything. Like they proved that to us with Dr. Baby, which was like so different from the other stuff. They proved that they can do whatever, but honestly, just whatever they feel inspired to do and whatever they feel comfortable doing, I know it's going to be great. 
they all look so good in this photo book. Like, I love the black hair. Oh my god, this one looks so good. I love that hair on him. Also, the fact that they keep trying to hide their hair, like, come on, we know what's going on. Like, Shinwon. <laughs> okay, he might be clowning us, but he's trying so hard to cover his hair, like, but he didn't even realize that he totally, like, exposed his hair in like a v-live but he's still like trying to hide it and unis are like trying to be sweet and pretend they didn't see anything but if what he showed us was like real that means orange shinwon's coming back and i don't know if my heart can take it speaking of shinwon we have one more to open it's just the board so i'll get that right now oh my god i'm so sorry i'm like you can tell this is my first time. I just, I went through the album and then, I mean the photo book and I just completely forgot to open the album. So yeah, here is this. I'm adding this like later. Whoa, oh my god. I'm a mess. Okay, I'm adding this later. I hate that you can see me in the reflection, but uh, here's the side. So let's open this up. It's still pretty thin, so I think it might be similar to like the standard. Here's the CD. So yeah, this is just the CD, no DVD this time. And then let's see what this looks like. Probably didn't miss much, but I'm adding this anyway, just in case. So here is the small, small boy photo book. Okay, it looks like it's just the track list. I mean, we already, whoops, we already got like a fat photo book in this version anyway so that's like you know I'm not complaining at all but you know you never know just wanted to show you that all right moving on all right so last but not least we have the Shinwon individual member board here's that paper thing again I'm just gonna unfold it I'm just gonna probably put that inside the album so that it doesn't get damaged all right, I assume that this is basically the same as, you know, the regular version. It just has Shin one on it, but let's find out. All right, so like, I just want to do everything I can to help Pentagon this comeback, you know? Like I'm hosting like a USA group order and stuff for their comeback. And I'm honestly gonna buy like so many albums just like on my own because I'm gonna try to collect all the photo cards anyway and I really hope that like they release special like whoops special pre-order photo cards as well depending on like what venue you go to they did that for idols um dum -dee dum -dee, and that was just like a single too but they still released like a k-town for you benefit they released like a make star I believe um Things like that. I'll definitely open group orders for all those venues, basically any that show up. And maybe they'll do like fan signs. That'd be great. I don't know if I'm confident enough to try to get in. Oh, is that a signature? Oh, that's so cute. It has this iconic face. Let me zoom in on that. That is so cool. I think that's like really cute touch. So yeah, this uh, member board it wasn't anything crazy. The only difference is that it has their face on the cover It doesn't even have a photo book like the inside was just the track list, but then it has their cute like signature and little message I don't Arigato 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 desu yoroshiku. He's so cute. I love his face. Okay So yeah, that was it for that all right, so that was it for this unboxing. No photo cards, which I already knew, but you know how unis are deep down inside. We always have like these expectations and then we end up getting clowned, but we won't be unis if we don't do that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time maybe. Bye.